This message is a personal message of thanks to Mr. Brian Murphy, Mr. Chris Colfer, and Mr. Max Adler. Um, obviously, as many people know, next week will be the episode of Gleek entitled Born This Way, which is featuring around the new Lady Gaga song that was recently released. I, I have to say on a personal level that this is really touching me. When I came out of the closet, and well first when I realized I was gay, it didn't take me that long to come out of the closet. But, on the other hand, I found no support whatsoever. Um, I'm from a small town called Dos Palos, which is near the um, area by, of the Clovis Fresno area where Chris Colfer is from. So, when Chris Colfer has said in the past that, I, that he really was bullied, just like Kurt was, well, so was I. What's even worse is that, unlike Kurt, I was not a fashion obsessed, I wasn't grooming obsessed, I wasn't looking my, you know... I wasn't um, as in the way I would call it as a screaming queen, and because of that, the f the only places I had to connect for support was the internet, and because I couldn't get any support because I was not a gay stereotype, it pushed me into a very very dark place. Um, first of all, now I have to say thank you to Chris Colfer for everything he's done for showing me that someone can come out of the Central Valley and actually be themselves and be happy. I try to live my life by that standard, and, and Chris, you are an incredible, rec incredible, incredible example of what can really happen if, if life, if you let make life be happy. Um, second, I have to think. Now I'm going to go into thanking Ryan Murphy because he, what you're doing for the gay community is absolutely breathtaking. As part of, part of, as I said earlier, my my experiences not fitting into the gay world because I didn't look like a gay stereotype, the story of Karotsky and Kurt is absolutely going to shatter the gay stereotype and many people like myself who are now coming out of the closet don't have to, don't have to rely on the gay stereotype anymore for some kind of self-identity. I do know that a 13-year-old girl, one of my sister's best friends in fact, has had a lot of difficulty with the fact that she is now hiding who she is because of because of the cultural unacceptance of where she lives. And I think that Glee and the story that you have now told us is absolutely going to give her support and kind of teach other people that she is perfect the way she is. And honestly, she's a really sweet girl too, so I have to thank you for that because to give a little girl a chance. Third, Mr. Max Adler. You know, Number one, I know that shirtless pic of you leaked onto the internet, and I will not lie, I find it incredibly attractive. The second, your acting from the Never Been Kissed episode, that scene, I think you are an incredible actor, and you deserve an Emmy right now for that one scene. But what you're about to do, introducing the world to a, the figure of a masculine gay man on TV, I can't thank you enough. You probably have done more for, this, for a sub-community... Uh, of the gay community referred to as the bear community than you ever know. Um, showing that you can be yourself, that you don't have to be the stereotype, is going to inspire so many people struggling with themselves and I really hope that you understand that you have done some amazing things and I hope that you get as much success based off what you've done for that episode as the good it's done. Anyway, um, I wish all three of you an incredible career I wish all three of you the absolute best, all the accolades that you could ever hope to receive. And from this bear cub, Eric Hoffman, I am extremely thankful and grateful. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.